G'day guys, back to back again, uh, just going to do hopefully a quick video on replacing the shafts on the RCX2205 motors. I uh, know a lot of you guys, including myself, have had issues with the shafts coming loose. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Back onto my um, dodgy little bench area. And here we have a 2205 uh, 2350 KV. Now, oops, tools you're going to need to do this job. A pair of pliers, either or either. A plastic bag. Some tissue paper. Some alcohol. And some 600 series Loctite. Now you can use... Uh, 638 I believe, I've got written down here, um, yeah 638, 648 or as suggested by Quad McFly and Engineer X I believe both of them said any of the 600 series uh, Loctites. Okay, first things first we're going to have to remove our e-clip, so plastic bag, pop our motor in the bag. Once again, like the last time, you get one end on the shaft, one end on the clip, push, and off it comes. Oh, Keep that in a safe place, so I'll just put it in the bottom of this bag for now and put it over here. Okay, so there we have it. Now, you would usually experience this after a couple of crashes, or you know, if you want to be very vigilant and check it before you even install it, you'd take it off. And um, this is my method, it's not the best. There are proper shaft puller tools, but I just get a pair of pliers, and you see they've got the cutters in here. I use that to grab onto the shaft. Um, now, normally I might put it in the cutout for the e clip, but in this this time I'm just going to grab it, apply a small, well, a bit of pressure there, and see if I can twist it. Now in this particular motor, I can, and you'll see, off it comes very easily. In fact, so there's not a lot of force. I have marked the shaft just a tad. I'm not really going to worry about that. I've you know, got a little bit of sandpaper. I can I can fix that up with later, but it's nothing to really worry about. I'm telling you now. Shaft's out. So if you've had a few crashes and you've got a lot of play, you can probably just pull your shaft out that easy. Um, or if they didn't lock tight it properly from the factory, um, which it seems a couple of the motors have been coming like that, then you should be able to pull your shaft out that easy. Now, if you can't pull your shaft out, that easy and you don't you know if you can't do it don't try it's probably not going to come out it means that it's probably been glued and you're good just keep flying it check it every flight see if there's any play if you start getting play then you know come back and try and pull out the shaft but if you can't get it i, I tried heating up one of these motor bells um on this one i tried heating up the bell to remove the shaft on this and i just could not do it i spent good 10 minutes trying to remove the shaft and I gave up I put it back on there it's not coming off so I'm, I'm very confident about that motor but this one not so much so we've got the shaft out the next thing we need to do is clean must be clean that's where our alcohol comes in with our tissue paper so a couple of squirts on here we'll give the shaft a good clean up Okay, now, I've also got a, a 1.5 mil Allen key that I'm going to use to get some tissue down into here. So I'm just going to wet the end of this a bit, poke it down in there, and get my Allen key. Oh, jeez. There we go. We're just going to clean that up. See all that crap? That will stop the Loctite from uh, from sealing if if we don't get that off. So um, that's why we're doing this. 
So, I mean, you could put the, the best Loctite in the world into that and it just it wouldn't seal properly if you've got all of that grease and, and gunk in there so um, very important step is this cleaning you have to do it, you really do um, Okay, once you're happy with how clean the shaft and the inside of that hole is, that's when you're going to get your new Loctite uh, 600 series stuff. Now, today I can't find my press fit uh, Loctite, so I'm just using a bit of standard blue stuff. But um, you know, I've already I've told you what types to get, so you know you know what you're doing. Just get get your 600 series Loctite now. We don't need a lot of it, really. Um, basically, got a few options. Um, you don't need too much of it. About that, it's probably heaps, probably too much even. So I'll poke that into the hole. And you can see it bubbling out. We want to clean up any of that excess tight Loctite. Alrighty. So clean up all, all the excess. Um, realistically here you have a few options. You can put on the E-clip, put it into a vise and press fit it back in. Um, my method is not so scientific or you know, not so precise. Basically I've got it in there, I've cleaned up the excess Loctite, we'll have, we'll see how, how that fits, you know, it's definitely way too high, so I'll uh, just give it a few taps. And um, that actually looks pretty good where it is, but for instance, if I, um, if I gave that a few taps more, and now, you know, I've gone too far and I can't get my E-clip back on. What do I do? Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> providing you haven't let your Loctite dry, we're doing this immediately after applying our Loctite. You want to get your pliers again. Grab the shaft. Um, I would put it around the E-clip bit, but, you know, you just grab the shaft anywhere, probably. Apply a bit of pressure. And twist. Just give it a little twist and retry it. Okay, and that looks about perfect again. So, we'll have a test fit. Get our clip. Pop it in the bag. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think it could go down a tad more. Try that. Yep, perfect. Look at that. So our clip goes on. There is zero play in that motor. Success. Now, next step, final step. Leave it sitting upside down for. It recommends. Um, I think 24 hours is the set time for press fit Loctite. So. I like to leave mine upside down just in case there's any excess Loctite that wants to drip out. You know, if you leave it upside down, it's not going to get into your bearings. So we'll leave that there for 24 hours, come back to it, and honestly, I, you should not be able to re remove that shaft out again. Go buy another $3 bell. Job done. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too long. I've, I've probably exceeded 10 minutes. It's going to be longer, a lot longer than I expected, as always, but... Hopefully that's got you a little bit closer to repairing your shafts. See you next time, guys.